How's it going everyone? My name is Chips and in this video I'll be showing you how to build this museum that you see in front of you now. And while I designed it to look like a museum, this build is so big that you could actually really use it for whatever you want. And for anyone who's new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step walkthrough video with voiceover instructions so you can get this build on your arc. And on the screen right now you will see a full list of building materials you will need for this build as well as the map cords where I built this on Ragnarok. Now you can also find this information in the description below if you would like to quickly copy and paste it over to your own device. Also, all of the paint and decorations for this build were done by my friend, You Were a Monkey, so if you guys could please do me a favor after this video, go check out her channel and show her some love and support for all of her hard work on this build. But anyways guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you all thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is lay out the foundation for our build. So as you can see, I've already laid out a large portion of this foundation just to save us a little bit of time. So for this portion I've already laid out is going to be 34 stone foundations going across by 10 stone foundations going deep. So we're gonna go ahead and add some stuff starting off here on the front. We're gonna head to one of our corners and we're going to go ahead and count 10 foundations over. Now we're gonna go ahead and skip to the 11th spot right here and place four stone foundations. We're gonna go ahead and skip two spots and place two more starting right here. Go ahead and skip two more spots and place four more starting right here. Now we're gonna come back to those middle two and add two more foundations out from them. We'll come to each side and place a stone triangle foundation. Then we will place two more regular stone foundations on each side. Followed by four stone triangle foundations on each side. We'll go ahead and fill in between these with four regular stone foundations. And add another row of four behind it and then just fill in the rest with stone triangle foundations. Now we're gonna head to one of the sides of our build. Starting off here on this corner, we're gonna skip two foundations over, come to this third one and place two regular stone foundations. Go ahead and skip two more spots and starting right here, place two more stone foundations. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate this on our other side. Now we're gonna do the back side, starting off here on this corner, we're gonna count 10 foundations over. Come to the 11th spot and we're going to place a row of 14 stone foundations. We're gonna go ahead and place two more rows of 14 coming out from that. Now we'll go ahead and count four foundation spaces over from this corner. Come to the fifth one and place a row of six stone foundations. And we'll go ahead and do this two more times in front of that. So now this is going to complete the foundation for our build. So just go ahead and switch all of these regular stone foundations to block. Next, we're gonna start adding some pillars, starting off here on the front left side of our build. We're gonna come in here and place a wooden fence foundation on this stone foundation. Then on the outside, we're gonna go ahead and place eight high stone pillars. On the other side of that fence foundation, we'll place five high stone pillars. Now we're gonna go ahead and skip two foundations and come to this third one and place another wooden fence foundation and then we'll place five high stone pillars on each side of it. We'll go ahead and skip two more foundations and do the same thing right here. We'll then go ahead and skip two more foundations and place another wooden fence foundation right here. And on this inside snap point, go ahead and add five more stone pillars. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and copy this over here on the other side of the front of our build. Now that we have that done, we're gonna come here to one of our portions with the four stone foundations. We're gonna place a wooden fence foundation here on this end. On the outside snap point, we're going to add 10 high stone pillars. And on the other side of that fence foundation, we're going to add five high stone pillars. We'll come here to this corner and do the same thing right here. Now we're gonna go over here to the other spot where we have the four stone foundations and do the same thing on this spot. Now we're gonna come to this middle portion here on our front and on these two stone foundations, we're going to place a wooden fence foundation on the side like this and add one stone pillar just right here. Do that over here. Now we're gonna come to the very front over here and on the cornermost regular stone foundation, we're going to place another wooden fence foundation just like this and add one stone pillar on the corner and do the same thing right over here. All right, next we're gonna add some pillars on the back side of our build. Starting off on the back left corner, we'll place a wooden fence foundation on this stone foundation. And again, we will place eight high stone pillars on the outside corner and five high stone pillars on the inside snap point. We'll go ahead and again, skip two spots and place a wooden fence foundation right here and place five high stone on each side. Do that again right here. And then again, skip two spots, place a wooden fence foundation right here. And on the inside snap point, place five more stone pillars. Now go ahead and duplicate this over here on the other side of the back side of our build. Now that we have that done, we're first gonna come to this spot right here where it first sticks out. And on the corner, we'll place another wooden fence foundation. We will place 10 high stone pillars on the outside corner. And then on the other side of that fence foundation, we'll place seven high stone pillars. We'll then go ahead and place another wooden fence foundation right here. And on the inside snap point right here, we're going to place seven more stone pillars. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate this step over here on this portion. And now here on the side of this portion that sticks out, we're going to place a wooden fence foundation on the middle foundation right here. And then on this spot right here, we're going to place two stone pillars. And we'll just copy this over here on the other side of it. All right, next we're gonna come back to the front left corner of our build. And we're gonna head in here between where we have these two pillars and get out a stone wall. Now you'll notice here because we have that fence foundation, there are actually two snap points you could place this stone wall on. There's this one that is on the foundation and then this one that is on the fence foundation. You wanna be careful and make sure you're getting it on the regular foundation. Go ahead and place that. Here between these two pillars, we'll place two stone window frames. We'll place another stone wall right here. Again, being careful for that fence foundation. Place two window frames right here. Another stone wall right here. Two more window frames, another stone wall. We'll go ahead and turn and place a stone wall right here. We'll place one here in this front between the pillars. We'll place two window frames right here, another stone wall, another stone wall on this side, two more right here, 
and one more right here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate this over here on this side. Now you can go ahead back through and fill in all of those window frames with greenhouse windows. Now on the back side of the build, we're again going to start in the left corner of the build. We'll head in here between these pillars and again, place a stone wall right here, being careful for that fence foundation. Go ahead and place our two stone window frames right here, another stone wall right here, two more window frames, another stone wall, two more window frames, a stone wall here. We'll place three stone walls here on the side. We'll place another one between these pillars and then three more to the side of it. We'll place a stone wall in these first two spots. And then we will place a sloped stone wall right, right here. We're going to go over here real quick and place a sloped stone wall left in this spot. And then we will just repeat what we did over there for the rest of this. And now you can again go ahead around and fill in all of those window frames with greenhouse windows. All right, now here on one of the sides of our build, we're going to first go ahead and place a stone wall on these first two foundations. Then we will place a sloped stone wall right on the side of this one. We'll come to the other side and place a sloped stone wall left. We'll place two more regular stone walls, another sloped stone wall right, another sloped stone wall left, and then two more regular stone walls. Now just go ahead to the other side of the build and repeat this on our other side. All right, now here on the left side of the build, we're going to head inside of the build and between this set of stone pillars on the front side, we're gonna go ahead and place an electric generator down on the ground on this foundation right here, just kind of right between those. Now you could also use a tech generator if you have access to that, if you wanna use tech, I'm just gonna use electric for my example. Now we're gonna to come to this side here on the left and starting right here, we're going to place four stone ceilings going across stopping right here. We'll then come over here to this side and place four more, stopping again right here. And we're going to leave this space right here open. That is eventually going to be our staircase to get us down to our subfloor. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to fill in this entire inside portion of the build with stone ceilings. We're not gonna fill in these spots here on the side where we have the sloped stone walls, that spot on the back where we have the two sloped stone walls, and then obviously that little portion out there on the front is not going to get a ceiling over it either. And we're going to also make sure we leave this spot right here open to create a staircase down to our subfloor. Basically, we are creating a subfloor to hide all of our water pipes, electrical, anything you're going to want to include in the build that you don't want to be uglying up the inside of the build. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of this off camera to save us a little bit of time and I'll bring it back and show you guys what I've done. All right, everyone. So like I said, I went ahead and filled all this in. As I said before, here on the back side where we have those sloped stone walls, that area is left open. Same thing here on the side where we have the sloped stone walls, as well as that one spot we have here. And those sloped stone walls on the other side are left open as well. And one thing I think I might have forgot to mention here on the front is between these two stone walls, we're going to leave these open as well. So if you do have ceilings there, I apologize. Go ahead and remove those ceilings from that spot. Now back here at the front of the build, we're going to go ahead in here and place a stone stair in front of these four stone foundations. We'll then go ahead to where we have these ceilings and drop a stone stair down from each of these. Then we're going to get out stone railings and just connect stone railings from these two pillars. And do that on the other side as well.
Now here on the back side of the build, we're gonna come in here and place a stone stair in front of each of these six stone foundations. You can then go ahead and drop a stone stair down from each ceiling. Then we're gonna to come to the side and place two stone railings right here. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, so for this next step, we're going to come into one of our spots where we have the two greenhouse windows on that first level, and we're going to come to the ceiling above it right here, get out a wooden fence foundation and place it just like this. We will then go ahead and snap a stone dinosaur gateway to that fence foundation like this, and also a stone pillar in the middle like this. So it should now look like that. So now what we're gonna do is go around the entire front and back side of the build, and we're going to repeat this step anywhere where we have the two greenhouse windows on that first level. So I'm gonna show you guys it one more time right here in this spot, and then I'm gonna do the rest off camera to save us a little bit of time. All right, now we're gonna come back into one of those spots and we're going to place a stone wall just like this so the green side is facing us. We're gonna place another one right here. Now you will notice because of the fence foundation there are multiple snap points. Just make sure you're getting the green one. We're then gonna go ahead and place a metal catwalk on top of this pillar or between the stone walls like this. And then we will add three greenhouse walls on top of each stone wall. I'll do this one more time right here in this spot. So it should look like this. So now we're gonna go around the entire front and back of the build and everywhere where we placed the gate frames and the pillar, go ahead and add this to each of those spots. I'm again gonna go ahead and do this off camera to save us a little bit of time. All right, next we're gonna to come to this front center portion of the build, and we're gonna to come to the side of this pillar right here, and on this spot, we're going to place four high stone walls. We'll do that in the next spot right here. Then we're gonna go ahead and turn, and in these first two spots, we're going to place two high stone walls. Now we're gonna come over here to this side, and right here, do the exact same thing. Then right here, we're gonna go ahead and get out a thatch ceiling and we're gonna place it between these two stone walls so that it overhangs on both sides. Go ahead and add another thatch ceiling out in front of it. Then we're gonna come below those and get out a stone stair. And you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever keyer button is appropriate for your system until you get it placing like this. We can then go ahead and pick up this thatch ceiling and then replace this one with a stone ceiling. We're then gonna go ahead and repeat this right here. Now we're gonna come back in here and add two greenhouse walls on top of each of these stone walls. We'll then get out a thatch ceiling and place it out in front of the stone wall and greenhouse wall on each spot. Then we're gonna go ahead and get out a metal railing and we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get this light blue snap point. Go ahead and place that. And then go ahead and add three more on top of it to give us four total. Go ahead and do this in the other three spots as well. And then once you have that done, you can pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings. All right, now we're gonna come back in here to this stone ceiling right here and place a wooden fence foundation on it like this. 
We'll go ahead and snap a stone dinosaur gateway to that. We'll place another wooden fence foundation right here on this ceiling, like this, and snap a stone dinosaur gateway to it. We'll place another wooden fence foundation right here and snap another stone dinosaur gateway. And then one more wooden fence foundation right here and snap a stone dinosaur gateway to that. Then right here in this spot, we'll go ahead and place a stone railing and one more right here. And we'll do the same thing over here on this side. All right, now again here on the front left corner of our build, we're gonna come in here between these stone pillars and place four high stone walls. We'll go ahead to the side of that ceiling and place four high stone walls right here with the green side facing us. We'll come to this spot between these pillars and place four high stone walls on this side, on the front, and on the other side as well. We'll go ahead and do the same thing right here. Go ahead to this pillar right here and place four high stone walls right here to the side of it, as well as on the front. And we'll also place four high stone walls right here. Go ahead and place them between these two pillars on the side right here. Go ahead and place them on the side right here. And then right here on the front between these two pillars. So now we're just gonna go ahead and take this and duplicate it over here on this side of the front of our build. All right, now again here at the front left corner, we're gonna head into this pillar right here and get out a metal catwalk and place it just like this. We will then add eight more to the right of that to give us nine total. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill in between these stone walls right here with stone ceilings. Do that on the other two portions as well. Now you can go ahead to the bottom and fill in right here with stone railings, adding one on top of each stone ceiling. We're gonna to come to this front portion right here, get out a metal catwalk and place one on the pillar like this, and then add two more to the right of it. Go ahead and fill this in with stone ceilings right here and add your stone railings at the bottom. Now coming to the front middle, we're gonna go ahead and fill in right here with six stone ceilings. And now that we have that done, we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate what we did over here with the metal catwalks, stone ceilings, and stone railings. And we're gonna do that again over here on this side. Now on the back side of the build, we'll start off here between these two stone pillars, placing four high stone walls. We'll place four high stone walls here on the side. Place four high stone walls right here. Again, here on the front. Here on this side. Do the same thing right here. and then place four high stone walls right here and right here on the front. Now we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate what we just did right there over here on the other side of our back. Now we'll come in here to this stone pillar and place a metal catwalk on top of it. We'll again go ahead and add eight to the right of this to give us nine total. Go ahead and fill in here between these stone walls with stone ceilings and do that on the other two portions. And then again, go ahead down here to the bottom and fill these two spots in with one high stone railings. And now just go ahead and repeat this process again on the other side of our back. Now again on the back, we're gonna to come to this spot right here and on these three ceilings, we're going to add six more stone walls.
We'll go ahead and do that right here between these two stone pillars. Now between these two stone pillars, we're just going to add one stone wall on each of these. We're going to head over here and add one stone wall on top of each of these ceilings right here. Add six more between these two pillars. And add six more on each of these on the side. Now here on the back where we place those one high stone walls, we're gonna go ahead and first add five wooden window frames to each of those. Go ahead and fill each of these in with a greenhouse window. And now we're gonna go ahead and replace those wooden window frames with greenhouse walls. So it should now look like that. So we're just gonna go over here and do the same thing right here in this spot. Now we'll come back in here and just below the greenhouse wall, we'll place a thatch ceiling on each of these like this. We're then gonna go ahead and get out a stone door frame and we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Until you get this light blue snap point, go ahead and place it. Go ahead and add four more on top. Again, making sure you're rotating the snap point with each one. And now we're just going to go ahead and do this again in both of these spots. And then we'll repeat this process over on the other side. And then once you have all of these placed, you can just go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings. Still here on the back side, we're gonna come in here next to this pillar and on the second ceiling over, we're going to add a wooden fence foundation. Then on this snap point right here, we're going to add five high stone pillars. We'll come over here in line with this pillar and do the same thing right here on this ceiling. Now between these two pillars, we're going to place a greenhouse double door frame on each of those ceilings and fill them in with greenhouse double doors. And then we're going to add three greenhouse walls on top of each one. Now we're gonna come in here to this gap and on the first ceiling, we're going to place two high stone walls. We'll do the same thing right here. Just be careful for that fence foundation. Make sure you're getting this green snap point that's placing on the ceiling. Then we're gonna go ahead and place a thatch ceiling hanging over the two of them like this and bring another one out from that. Go ahead below these thatch ceilings and get out a stone stair. And you're gonna be looking for this snap point right here. You may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Go ahead and place that. We're then gonna go ahead and pick up or destroy the outside most ceiling and replace the other ceiling with a stone ceiling. You can then go ahead and add three stone walls on top of each one of these. So it should look like that. Now we're just gonna go ahead and repeat this process right here. Now here at the top of these pillars, we're first gonna go ahead and add a metal catwalk on top of this pillar. Go ahead and add two more to the right of it to give us three total. Now that you have those placed, go ahead and place a greenhouse wall on each of the greenhouse walls below. And now place six stone walls here on top. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and work on the sides of our builds. So first, starting off right here where we have this pillar, we're going to add four high stone walls right here. We're gonna go ahead and turn and place four high stone walls right here. We'll come to the other corner where we have the pillar over here and do the same thing. 
Now on these remaining spots going across, we're gonna place one high stone walls. And now we're gonna go ahead and place a stone ceiling hanging in from each of those walls we just placed. Now just go ahead to the other side of our build and duplicate what we just did. Now from the inside of the build, we're gonna to come to this furthest ceiling right here and get out a thatch door frame. And we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Until we get this light blue snap point, go ahead and place that. We're gonna go ahead and do this in the other corner as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and get out a stone wall. And again, rotate the snap point so you get the light blue side facing you and add three on top of that thatch door frame. And do this in the other corner. Now from these remaining ceilings, we're gonna go ahead and hang a thatch ceiling coming inward from them. We're gonna go around to the outside here. And on these first two spots right here, we're going to place three high greenhouse walls. We'll come to this side and do that in these first two spots right here. And then in these middle two spots, we're going to place three high stone walls. Once you have all of that placed, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy the thatch ceilings and door frames, and then just repeat this on the other side. Now we're going to come in here to the middle and get out a thatch door frame and place it right here. We'll go ahead and place another one right here like this. Now we're going to come to the top and place eight stone ceilings connecting this stone wall to the one on the opposite side. Then we're gonna go ahead and get out stone pillars and we're going to place one right here like this and add two more on top of it, just like that. Go ahead and do that again here in this corner. And then we're just gonna go ahead to the other side of our build and repeat this step. Next, we'll come in here in front of our greenhouse and get out a stone door frame and we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Until you get this light blue snap point, go ahead and place it like that and add two more on top facing in the same direction. Do that again right here. And then go ahead to this side right here and do that in both of these spots. Once you have those placed, we're gonna go ahead to the top here and place a line of stone walls going all the way across. And then just go ahead to the other side of the build and repeat this step. Now we will come back in where we placed that thatch door frame. And we're gonna go ahead and get out a stone railing and we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Until you get this light blue snap point, go ahead and place it. Then we're gonna get out a sloped stone wall right and we're going to replace that thatch door frame with the sloped stone wall right so the green side is facing us, just like that. We'll come over here and get out another stone railing and again rotate the snap point and place it on the light blue side. And then we'll get out a sloped stone wall left and again replace the thatch door frame. We're gonna go ahead and place three more stone railings right here, as well as here on the other side. Then we will get out stone stairs and go ahead and drop one down from each of these walls here in the middle, as well as fill in these portions here at the bottom. And then like we've been doing, again, go ahead to the other side of the build and repeat this step. All right, now back here on the front side of our build, we're gonna go ahead and get out a stone wall and we're gonna place one high stone wall going across this front portion. We'll also go ahead and place one right here. Now we're gonna come back over to the corner and in this first spot between our two stone walls, we're gonna go ahead and hang a thatch ceiling like this. Go ahead and add eight more to the side of it. We're gonna go ahead and add a thatch ceiling out from each of those. Then we will come beneath those thatch ceilings and get out a stone stair. And we're gonna be looking for this green snap point that intersects into the wall you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Go ahead and place one of those under each of these thatch ceilings. Now 
Once you have those placed, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy the outmost thatch thing that we placed. And then just go ahead and replace these other thatch ceilings with stone ceilings. So now that we have that done, we're gonna go ahead to the other side here on our front and repeat this step. All right, now here on the back side of the build, we're going to do essentially the same thing we just did on the front, except for we won't have to place any walls here on this side because we already have them. So first we'll take a line of stone walls across right here. Then we will get out a thatch ceiling and place one oversecting right here. Go ahead and place eight more to the side of it. Go ahead and place another line of thatch ceilings out from that. Then we will again come underneath those thatch ceilings and get out a stone stair. And again, you're gonna to need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you get this snap point. Go ahead and add one of those under each of these thatch ceilings. We're going to go up top here and go ahead and replace this first set of thatch ceilings with stone ceilings going across. And then again, just go ahead and pick up or destroy those other thatch ceilings and repeat this on the other side of the back side of our build. Next, we'll come to one of the sides of our build. And again, we're gonna do the same process. So we're gonna start off right here between these first two stone walls by hanging a thatch ceiling over them like this. Add eight more to the side of that. Go ahead and place another line out in front of those ones. Come down below them and again, get out a stone stair. And we're gonna rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it places like this and do that under each of these thatch ceilings. And then again, come back up top and replace that first line of thatch ceilings with stone ceilings. And then once you have that done, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy that second line of thatch ceilings and just repeat this on the other side of the build. All right, now we're gonna work on these two parts on the front that stick out a little bit. So first we're gonna come in here to the top where we have these catwalks and go ahead and add four stone walls going across. We'll go to this side right here and add two stone walls just like this. Now we'll come back to the front and get out a thatch ceiling and overlap these two stone walls with that thatch ceiling and add two more to the side of it. Go ahead and add another one out in front of each of these and then come below them and again get out a stone stair and we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get this one right here. Go ahead and add two more under these other two thatch ceilings. And then again, go back to the top and replace that first set of thatch ceilings with stone ceilings. And then you can just pick up or destroy that second set of thatch ceilings and repeat this right over here. All right, now we're gonna come back to our front left side of the build and right here up against this corner pillar, we're going to place a stone wall, just like this. On the next two spots, we'll place greenhouse walls. We'll place another stone wall, followed by two greenhouse walls, followed by another stone wall, two greenhouse walls, and then finish it off with a stone wall. Now we're gonna go ahead and place a thatch door frame on top of each one of these. So it should look like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and repeat this over here on the other front side over there, as well as the two sides on the back. Now here on one of our sides, we're gonna start off right here next to this pillar and first place a stone wall on these first two spots. On the next two spots, we'll place a greenhouse wall. We'll place another two stone walls, followed by two more greenhouse walls, and then two stone walls. And then again, we'll just go ahead and add a thatch door frame on top of each one of those. And then we'll just go ahead to the other side of the build and repeat this step. Here on the back side of the build, we're gonna go around this large middle portion 
and add a thatched door frame on top of each of the walls we've already placed. Just being careful right here in this spot where we have the door frames below that you don't get this snap point. You wanna make sure you get the green one that's on the greenhouse wall. And like I said, just continue placing these on each wall. Next, we're gonna come into the front middle of our build. And first, right here on the side where we have these stone walls, we'll add one more stone wall on each and do that over here on this side. Then behind these stone ceilings, we're gonna go ahead and hang a thatch ceiling going inward on each one. We'll then go ahead and get out another stone wall and you want this green side facing you, it's placing on the thatch ceiling. Go ahead and add two high stone walls to each spot. Then we'll go ahead and bring two thatch ceilings out from each of those stone walls. We're gonna go underneath of those thatch ceilings and get out a stone stair. And you're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get it facing like this. Go ahead and add one to each spot. Once you have that done, you can go back up top and replace that first line of thatch ceilings with stone ceilings. And then once you have those replaced, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy this line of thatch ceilings right here, as well as the one here on the inside. All right, next we're gonna come back in here and starting off right here on this ceiling, we're going to place two high thatch door frames so that the green side is facing us. We'll do that in the next two spots as well. Then coming to this spot, we're again going to get out a thatch door frame and we are going to flip the door frame around using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Now you are not rotating the snap point, you are just flipping the door frame. So it should look like this, go ahead and place it. We'll do that again right here. And we'll do that in the next two spots as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill all of these door frames in with greenhouse doors. You can then go ahead and open up the doors so that they point inward. Go ahead and replace all of those thatch door frames with thatch walls. And then finally, just go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch walls. And you'll see as you do this that your greenhouse door frames will remain floating. All right, now back here on one of our front sections that sticks out, we're first gonna go ahead and place a thatch door frame too high right here. On the next two spots, we'll place a greenhouse wall with a thatch door frame on top of it. And then right here, we'll place two more thatch door frames. We're then gonna go ahead and place a thatch ceiling out from right here, as well as this one right here. Then we're gonna go ahead and get out a stone double door frame and we're gonna be looking to place it on the side of that stone ceiling. So it should look just like that. We'll go ahead and get out another one above it and place it right here like this. And do the same thing over here on this one right here. Now we're just gonna go ahead and repeat this step over here on this portion. All right, now we're gonna come back in here where we have the thatch ceiling and we're gonna get out a stone railing and we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get this light blue snap point that's placing right here. Go ahead and place that down. Add another one on top of it, again, looking for the light blue snap point and do the same thing right over here. You can then go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings. Now we're gonna go ahead and place another set of thatch ceilings out in front of these greenhouse walls. We'll then go ahead and get out a stone door frame and again, rotate the snap point until you get the light blue snap point that places like this. Add one of those in front of each greenhouse wall. 
and then go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings. We'll then go ahead and again get out a stone railing and again rotate the snap point until you get the light blue one and place that on top of that door frame. Add another one on top of that and do that again right here. Now you can go ahead and replace all of those thatch door frames with stone walls so you have the green side facing you. And then finally, right here on this first ceiling, we're gonna go ahead and place two high stone double door frames. And we'll do that again right here on this ceiling. So now we're just gonna go ahead and repeat this entire step over here on this side right here. All right, now still here on the front center portion of our build, we're first gonna to come to this side where we have this opening and place a stone wall followed by a thatch door frame. We'll go ahead to the other side and do the same thing over here. Then we're gonna to head to the centermost portion and first here on this side, we'll add a thatch door frame to this stone wall. We'll place thatch door frames going across the front of these ceilings. And we'll add one more right here on this stone wall. All right, next we're gonna come into one of these spots where we have the greenhouse walls below the thatch door frames. We're gonna place a thatch ceiling out from each of these greenhouse walls. Then we're gonna get out a stone door frame and we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Until we get this light blue snap point, go ahead and place it and do the same thing right here. You can then go ahead and pick up or destroy the thatch ceilings. So it should now look like this. So we're gonna go around this entire level of the build on the front two sides, the back two sides, as well as the two sides here. And anywhere where we have these greenhouse walls, we're gonna go ahead and repeat this step. All right, so for this next step, we're gonna start off in one of these spots where we have a stone wall with the thatch door frame on top of it. We're first gonna go ahead and place a thatch ceiling coming out right in front of the door frame. We'll then go ahead and get out a stone railing and we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get this light blue snap point. Go ahead and place that down and add one more on top of it. You can then go ahead and pick up or destroy that thatch ceiling and then replace that thatch door frame with a stone wall. Now here on this spot right next to it, you'll see we already have that stone door frame in place so we won't need a thatch ceiling. Just go ahead and get out your stone railing, rotate it so you get that light blue snap point, and place that down on top of the stone door frame. Go ahead and add another one on top, get out a stone wall and replace that thatch door frame, making sure you're getting the green snap point. So for this step, what we're gonna do is go around the entire build and on this level where we have all of these thatch door frames, we're gonna repeat this step right here. Just remember in the spots where you already have a stone door frame, you will not need to use a thatch ceiling. Now on the front left side of our build, we're gonna to come to this top portion and right here we have this stone wall. We're gonna hang a stone ceiling in from it, just like this. We'll go ahead and place a line of stone ceilings going across until we reach our end. We're then gonna go ahead and turn and place another line until we reach the back side of the build. We'll then go ahead and turn again and place another line until we reach that corner right there. Stopping right there. Now on this inside lip of these ceilings, we're gonna go ahead and get out a stone wall and just place it just like that. So it's facing like that. Go ahead and add one on each of the insides of these ceilings. So it should now look like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and repeat this over there on the other end. Next, we're gonna come back up here to the top to this spot right here. And on this first spot, we'll go ahead and add a stone wall on top of the wall, so it places like that. Then in this second spot, we're gonna hang a thatch ceiling in from that stone ceiling and place a stone wall on top of it. We're gonna to head to the back side of our build and place a stone wall on top of these first three stone walls. And then again, we will hang a thatch ceiling inward 
and place a stone wall on it like this. You can then go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatched ceilings and repeat this process on the other end. All right, now back here on the top, we're gonna to come in here to this corner. And right here on this spot, we're going to place a sloped stone wall right. And then we'll place a sloped stone wall left, just like this. We're gonna to come to this backside corner. And right here, we will place a sloped stone wall right, followed by a sloped stone wall left, like this. Now, starting here on the backside, on each of these ceilings, we're gonna go ahead and add a stone pillar on the ceiling like this. We will not place one here in the corner. We'll go ahead to the side and do the same thing on each of these ceilings. Again, not placing one on this corner and do the same thing here on the front ceilings. Now in each of these spots where we just placed a stone pillar, we're gonna go ahead and get out a stone stair and drop it down from the wall. Now that you have that done, go ahead and repeat this step on the other side of the build. Now here again at the top of our side, we're gonna come into this corner right here and place a stone ceiling so it's overhanging the corner like this. We'll go ahead and place nine more to the side of that. We'll go ahead and turn here and place eight to get us to the back. Turn again and place nine more going in this direction. And then we're just gonna connect these two ends. So we should have this ring now. So now we're gonna go ahead and add more to the ring. So we're gonna place a line going across right here. We'll turn and place another line connecting us to our back. Place another line here on the back and then place one more line connecting us back to the front. So now it should look like this. You should have two lines of ceilings on each side and you should have that nice opening there in the middle. So we're just gonna go ahead and create this again here on the other side. Now we're gonna go ahead in here to this gap that we created and we're going to add a line of thatch ceilings hanging on the inside of this side. Go ahead and do that on the back side of it as well. Once you have that done, we're gonna go ahead and get out a sloped greenhouse wall right and place it just like this so the green side is facing us. On the next four spots, we will place regular greenhouse walls. And then we will place a sloped greenhouse wall left right here. Go ahead back to the front of the build and again right here, place a sloped greenhouse wall right four regular greenhouse walls, and then a sloped greenhouse wall left. Now you can go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings and repeat this step on the other side. Now we will connect the sloped greenhouse walls on each side using sloped greenhouse roofs. and then we will connect the regular greenhouse walls using regular greenhouse ceilings. And once again, just go ahead and repeat this step on the other side. Now here on the back side of our build, we're gonna go in line with this stone pillar right here and get out a thatch ceiling and hang it between these two stone walls so that it overlaps add two more to the right of it, and then bring one out from each of those. We'll then go beneath those thatch ceilings and get out a stone stair, and we will rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Until you get this snap point right here, go ahead and place that, and do that two more times. You can then pick up or destroy this second line of thatch ceilings and replace the first line with stone ceilings. Once you have those replaced, we're gonna go ahead and place two high stone double door frames right here. 
right here on this middle ceiling and one more time right here. Again, here on the back side of the build, we'll come here to the side and place one high stone wall on top of each of these stone walls we already have. We'll come to the back side here and place two high stone walls on top of each one of these. And then here on this side, we will again place one more stone wall on each one. All right, now back here on the front, we'll come into this portion right here, and we're gonna get out a stone ceiling and place it just like this. We'll add two more to the right of that. Then we're gonna go ahead and place a stone wall right here, as well as right here. We'll place a sloped stone wall left, just like this, another stone wall right here in the middle, and then a sloped stone wall right, just like this. We'll place another stone ceiling right up top here, and then we will drop a stone stair down from each side of it. Once you have those stone stairs placed, go ahead and get out a stone wall again and rotate through the snap point using whichever keyer button is appropriate for your system until you get the one that fills in right here. Go ahead and place that and do the same thing right here. So now that we have that done, we're just gonna go ahead and repeat this step right over here. Next, we will come in here to the side on our top, and in this first spot, we're going to place a stone wall. Then right here, we're gonna place a sloped stone wall right. We're gonna come over here to the other side and just place a stone wall right here, followed by a sloped stone wall left. We'll go ahead and place two high thatch door frames going across this area. Right here, we'll go ahead and place a stone wall, followed by a sloped stone wall right. And then we will come over here and in the first spot we will add a sloped stone wall left followed by a regular stone wall now right here we just placed those thatch door frames we're gonna go ahead and get out a thatch ceiling and place it right here one in front of each of these then you can go ahead and get out a metal double door frame and you'll see that light blue just kind of sticking out of our thatch. We're gonna rotate the snap point using whichever keyer button is appropriate for your system until you get this bright green snap point. Go ahead and place that down and add one more on top, again, rotating it. And do this on each of these spots. Once you have that done, go ahead and get out a stone wall and we're going to replace the thatch door frame so you should have the green side of the stone wall. And then you can just go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings. All right, now to add our final roof here on the build, we're gonna start off right here where we placed this stone wall by placing a stone ceiling like this and then just taking a line across until we reach the other stone wall. We'll go ahead and place one more line in behind that. So just like that. We're gonna go ahead and take a line until we reach that back corner. We'll take one more line back to the front. Now we're gonna head back to this back side and we're gonna fill in the remaining space here between these stone walls and the stone walls over here. So we'll start off right here and just take it across. And then just fill in this area right here. Now we're gonna come over here to this side and where we have these two ceilings, we're just gonna take two more lines connecting us to the front. So you should have a gap right there that looks like that. We're gonna go ahead here to the side and drop a stone wall down from each of these ceilings to fill this gap. 
We'll go to the other side and do the same thing over here. And then one last thing real quick, we're gonna come to the front and right here in these spots, we're gonna go ahead and drop a stone stair down from the ceiling and do the same thing over here on this spot. Now we're gonna come in here to this gap and on the front side of it, we're gonna go ahead and hang a line of thatch ceilings in from the stone ceilings like this. Starting off right here, we will place a sloped greenhouse wall right, so it faces like this. We'll then go ahead and place regular greenhouse walls going across until we reach the last spot. And then on the last spot, we will place a sloped greenhouse wall left. So it should look like that. We're gonna go ahead and repeat this step on the back side here. And then once you have those placed, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings. Now we'll go ahead and place a line of sloped greenhouse roofs between our sloped greenhouse walls. Go ahead and do this on the other side as well. And then we will fill in between all the regular greenhouse walls with greenhouse ceilings. Here in the front middle top of the build, we're gonna go ahead right here and get out a thatch ceiling and place it like this so it hangs out over the front. Go ahead and place a line of these across, stopping right here. We'll add another line out in front of these. Then we're gonna come underneath those thatch ceilings and get out a stone stair. And we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever gear button is appropriate for your system. Until you get this snap point, go ahead and place it and add one underneath of each of these thatch ceilings. Go ahead back up to the top and place a stone ceiling in place of this first line of thatch ceilings. And then you can go ahead and pick up or destroy this second line. But first we're gonna head to the back side of the build now. And starting off here in one of our corners, we'll again hang a thatch ceiling out just like this and take a line across until we reach the same point on the other side. Add another line out in front of those. And then again, go under the thatch ceilings and get out a stone stair and rotate it until you get this snap point and place one under each thatch ceiling. And then again, like we did on the front, go ahead and replace that first line of thatch ceilings with stone ceilings. And then you can go ahead and pick up or destroy the second line of thatch ceilings as well. Now here on the inside, we're going to come to the side where we left the gap in the ground to get to our downstairs. We're going to go ahead and just drop a stone stair down from this stone ceiling, just like that. Then right here in the corner, we're going to get out a stone wall and rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Until you get the light blue snap point, go ahead and place that. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing in the next four spots. In this spot right here, we'll get out a stone door frame and again, rotate the snap point and place it like this and fill that in with a reinforced door. And then just place stone walls in the next two spots. We're gonna head over to the other side of the build and do the same thing, except for we will not be placing a stair or using a door frame. We'll just do stone walls all the way across. And then finally, we're going to head to our front entrance here on the build. And in the closest dinosaur gate right here, we're gonna go ahead and fill it in with a reinforced gate. 
All right, everyone, that is gonna do it for the building portion of this video. Now our good friend, you are a monkey, is gonna come in and apply an awesome paint scheme, do some really cool decorations for this build. So guys, do me a favor and stick around for one more second and I will show you what she comes up with. All right, everyone, so like I said, our friend, you are a monkey, has came in and done an awesome job on the paint scheme and decorations. So before I show you guys what she's done, do me a favor and again, after this video, make sure you guys go check out her channel. So let's go ahead and start off here on the front. As you come up the entrance, she has framed it with a few artifacts. She's also added these statues here on these pillars. And then you got some plants and trophies here at the front. She's added some crops in each of these windowsill areas over here to just spruce up the place. And also added a trophy on each of these areas that stick out here at the top. And then it looks like she painted these greenhouse and metal portions with the dark blue. And I actually asked her to not paint the stone. I just wanted it to look a little bit more natural. So that's not on her. I just I asked her not to paint it. We'll go ahead inside the build now. And I'm not really going to talk on this. I'll just show you guys what she's done and I'll let you just kind of, you know, observe it. I'm not going to speak on each of these um, different displays. I really just don't want to pronounce anything wrong. So, but yeah, it all just looks really great. We've got some really cool displays. Um, everything just kind of interacting with each other. Got some great crops right here. She's kind of sectioned out the museum into different stuff, it looks like. We'll head over to the other side. It looks like over here is more of the aquatic stuff. really like this big aquatic display. I think that looks really good. I love how she uses the jellyfish. And then we've got a few more over here. So now we're just going to head out the back entrance and check out the back side of the build. She's added a few horses here, a few horse statues right here. Some more trophies up there on the top, and then again, added some crops here in the windowsills. So all in all, I think it looks really great. She did a really good job making this thing really feel like a museum. All right, everyone, that is gonna do it for this video and build. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was easy to follow along and get this built on your arc. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me some feedback in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, go check out some of my other builds, and if you like what you see, subscribe for future arc Let's Build videos. Also, once again, make sure you check out the description below for a link to your monkeys channel, as well as links to my other social media. But with all of that said, I just want to tell you all, thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and have a great day.